Welcome to Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine. Hey everybody, it's Joby and Matt and the ever loving cat. And we're here the day after Christmas. We sat and talked about all the fun we had with our Christmas presents. And Matt brought me mine. Isn't it great? My dad gave me this great t-shirt for Christmas. Loving it. I hope everybody had a great Christmas. I hope Santa shoved all kinds of great stuff up under their tree. And when Santa squeezes his fat white ass down that chimney night, he's gonna find the jolliest bunch of assholes this side of the nut house. <laughs> <laughs> Lovingly look, placed, not shoved. Look what Matt brought me. Donuts. Had to be donuts. My favorite thing, a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. Let's open up so they can see it. Oh, please. this one over here in the far corner is birthday cake, and it has birthday cake icing in it. And the ones down in the bottom are Oreo, and they have Oreo stuff in them and Oreo on top of them. And the other one is cinnamon and cream. Oh, my God. We loved each one collectively and individually, you guys. I'm telling you, best Christmas present ever, a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. You'll shoot your eye out, kid. <laughs> and blinking head things. <laughs> I watched some really good movies this week. It was Christmas week. Um, Venom, of course. I got she Venom. finally got to see Venom. Finally. I got Venom. I rented it for like three days and didn't get to see it. And then I finally got to see it. I was so happy to see it. Enjoyed it. Oh, it was... And then the guy in the end, Woody Harrelson, is evidently the red Venom guy. And uh, the good... Spoiler alert! The, Spoiler alert! Yeah. Uh, but watch it anyway. <laughs> watch it anyway. Don't even listen to me. Watch it anyway. He's going to be carnage. It's good from beginning to end. Um, the blue guy is the good Venom guy. Um, and it has, the I think, the very last, honest to God, Stan Lee... Thing at the end it's called uh, the dapper dog walker he's the guy at the very end like you don't know when you see him but I think it's the last one last cameo of Stan Lee huh? yeah honest okay. to God you know live cameo mm, right. everything else is gonna be cameoed in right he's not gonna yeah. he's not gone They'll find but, a way to put him in every movie from yeah now on, but it'll yeah be like a still picture or something you know it was so good um, and then the second movie that I watched was A House with a Clock in Its Walls. It was very Goosebumps. I loved it so much. Yep. It had uh, Jack Black and then the girl that played the witch was Kate Blanchett. I, I thought my son read this book in school. I know I had come across hearing it before, but I, I loved it so much. Um, everything in the house was enchanted. He was the uncle. This, the, uh, 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 his nephew was orphaned and had to come and live with him and learn how to be a, a, a man witch. I want some fun piled on a bun. I want a man witch, please. Make tonight a man witch night. I want a man witch, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to learn how to become a man witch. A man witch. Uh, uh, Uncle Arthur. I think you would be happier if you'd clown around a little more. <laughs> so it, there was the witch, there was the man witch, but it was so cute watching Jack Black and Kate Blanchett get along with each other. Hmm. They were so cute. Their banter was adorable. Um, the third movie that I watched was uh, White Boy Rick. It, it had the best soundtrack ever. It was from the 80s. It had Matthew McConaughey in it that was the dad. And um, then you had the grandpa and the mom of his sister. It was an honest to God, true story. He was the Michigan's longest incarcerated nonviolent uh, person in history. Criminal, nonviolent criminal in history. It was sad. It was like they shoved him in there and then just like totally forgot about him forever and ever. So Matt and I uh, washed down our tears with some 14 hands. We did our 14 hands challenge this week. Yeah. So we tried the Smooth Red Blend, which is the new one. 
and we tried the red blend, which is the old one. And we couldn't find any difference between the two, so I think it was honest to God just a label change, new and old, new and old. Gosh, they all look pretty much the <gasps> same to me. You're joking, right? I mean, you really can't tell the difference? <laughs> and to get over it, we had some Four loco Frost. Uh, I hope my tongue is blue. Uh, <laughs> I only do this on my days off when I don't have to go anywhere the next day because it stains your tongue. I'm going to have another one in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Great times. Good wine. Good locos. I got some more movies on the back of the sheet I had to carry Heavens. over. Imagine that. Um, there was one called The Farm. I would I would tell you not to watch that, but what? it was interesting and different. Yeah. It was like The Farm. It was it's like it's like a little cartoon with little, little pigs and little, little lambs. There was and no stuff. cartoons and no? there was uh the the only lambs in it were the people that had a lamb mask on because they were herding the people up in cages and making meat out of them for parties and stuff. So not a happy movie. No. Not, not was, the best holiday movie of the year. No, this was an after the holiday movie, okay. but I, I, I just don't even know that I want to tell you to watch that. Well, just say it's it, just a stinker. You know, you, can, was, you, can, you can review a movie and say, this stinks. It was, maybe you would appreciate their perspective. It stinks. She feels bad for the people that worked on it. Like someone's mother's son was like a film editor or key grip or something. Well, it, like, when yeah. they started talking about cannibals, I kind of expected it to be like the Chainsaw Massacre. You know, in the, in the original one of that. But th this was very different. Okay. <laughs> Watch it if you want. I don't know. They had the, a bunch of masks on, animal masks on the cover. Um, I watched Welcome Home, and Matt caught the tail end of that. He came oh, yeah. in when mm -hmm. I was watching the tail end of that. Yeah. Um, the guy had the place. He rented it out as a holiday rental. But... He was making his money off of um, filming these people and putting them on the internet. And people were, I guess, paying to watch it. Um, and in the end, even when all the carnage happened, the people just skipped on to the next video. Like, was that real? Just skip to the next video. You know, nobody really even gave enough of a shit to <laughs> call the police or, you know, help these That's people out. probably the way it would life. really be in real life, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, so you can watch that one if you want to. Um, it had some good actors and actresses in it, and they played good parts. It had, it had the but, guy from Breaking Bad, the, the guy who played Jesse. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So maybe watch it, maybe don't. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't have a good review of that one either. Um, tonight we watched Bad Times at the El, El Royale. Um, it was on the California-Nevada border. Yeah, Right up, the, the, the hotel, motel was split right on the border. Right down the middle. It had a line down the middle so you could rent a room in California or Nevada. And each room had its own perspective of the crime. So it, it, it went on and on and on. And you got to watch every room's perspective of the crime. Right. And, and that was really cool. And it had John Hamm in it. Like John Hamm. She 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 makes she he makes her want to have a ham, ham sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> and a dozen Krispy Kreme donuts. <laughs> I watched a preview tonight. It was uh, Johnny English, a new Johnny English. Oh yeah yeah yeah, mm -hmm. with the Mr. Bean guy. Yep. Mm -hmm. Love Mr. Bean guy. <laughs> he is so goofy. If you don't, if you haven't seen Mr. Bean, you have to watch some Mr. Bean videos, and then watch him in Johnny English, and you'll get more of uh, the perspective of his, of his character. Um, one thing that I must mention from Christmas, Justin and I were on the way out to visit my dad, and we heard the Twelve Drunk Days of Christmas. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Matt got here tonight, and it was the first thing that I had to have him look up on that phone, mm -hmm. on, his on his smarty phone. phone. 
was the 12 drink 12 drinks of Christmas I guess you would say it's on YouTube it's an older lady and she's uh, singing it and it starts out where she's very sober and then it goes on and on and she gets drunker and drunker three yep spoiler <laughs> three crown roll I don't know I can't remember but yeah the spoiler alert is like the more you drink the harder it is to do the 12 days of Christmas seven margaritas <laughs> and it goes from like five to nine yeah she and just skips it, it, it's hilarious and then she goes backwards and you don't even know what she's saying you know <laughs> nine margaritas a sweet old fashioned seven Johnny what's this trooper I never <laughs> Yeah. Oh god. Four roll for sure. Three or four to come. Did it? Did it? Did It's my favorite Christmas song ever, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, and and I gotta tell you, my cat has been very flatulent this week. Yeah. Hey. Oh. Gee. How about some more beans, Mister Tiger? I'd say you've had enough. I, I don't know if she's eating Brussels sprouts and broccoli somewhere along the lines, and I don't know it, but my God, it smells like death. I think death lives about right here in my cat. <laughs> That's not a nice thing to say. She's right there. She's right there. She doesn't speak English anyway. <laughs> no, I'm, no, I'm no humana. <laughs> That I forgot to mention too was in Venom. Slim Shady sings the uh, theme song. Oh, oh, I love it. It was really good. Okay, smoking hot. Okay, um, and we talked about Woody Harrelson. I, I think we talked about everything except my possum story. You gotta hear my possum story. So you guys know I feed the freeloading cats in the breeze. They way. know now. Now they know. It was supposed to be a secret. I feed the freeloading cats only from the office people. Otherwise, okay. I don't care. I, I, so I go out in the breezeway the other night. I open the door, and there's this little possum. <gasps> I mean, we stood there and looked at each other for, I swear, 60 seconds in the complete deer in the head like <laughs> I wish I had a video of that. So I leaned out the door and I went, shoo, 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 shoo. And the little possum turned around like Eeyore and just kind of went off like, oh. <laughs> like I had totally ruined all of his fun. And you could hear his little toenails clicking on the cement. It was so funny. <laughs> my, my intrusion of the possum in the breezeway. And I did forget two things that you guys have got to see. Matt always brings me the best cards on the entire planet. So this is my bacon tree. This is my Christmas card. Look how big it is. Look how big the envelope is. <laughs> you gotta listen to this. Bacon. I'm gonna put this up as my Christmas tree next year. Bacon tree. Bacon tree. Is anything better than bacon on a Christmas tree? And then I'd be hard he, pressed to think of something. And then he brought me my birthday card. Birthday card. This is so cute. Look at this fluffy tail. Yeah. I can't get enough of the fluffy tail. tail. I wish I had a puffy tail. <laughs> I probably shut it in the door and all kinds of stuff. I'm so clumsy, you guys. But I love my cards. My birthday card and my Christmas card. Yep. Bacon tree. I wish you guys had a friend that bought you cards like this because they rock. I hang them around and see how long the battery lasts in them because they're so fun. Oh my goodness. Um, this is number 70. Yep, episode number 70. It is our last episode of the year. Yep. 
when I see you next year, um, we're going to be celebrating together. We're going to be having mimosas and champagne the day after. But that's okay, because you can have champagne the day after with your best friend. Sure. <laughs> Sue no brought complaints. me the best earrings. Fancy dancy earrings. And I got my Christmas present from Matt and the cat. <coughs> and a dozen donuts. Lots of wine. And, and some locos. And a blue tongue. <laughs> there you go. Hey, y'all come back and see us next year. We'll be here telling you about good wine, good movies, good donuts, good friends. Yep. <laughs> Stay happy, healthy, wealthy, and wise. Y'all come back now, you hear? Happy New Year! <laughs> Thank you for watching Jopie, a movie and a bottle of wine. I wish I had a puppy tail. <laughs>